Hey guys. Okay chat, let's cut the freaking crap. Excuse my language. You saw the title of the video, you know why we're here. We're here to get freaking glam. <laughs> we're here to get freaking glam. I'm going to Vegas. I can't show up looking like a lame. I cannot step foot into Las Vegas, Nevada looking like this. Don't mind myself in the background. I'm moving back to school soon. It's a lot of stuff. It's not. It's actually not a lot of stuff. So you're actually rude that you would even think that. It's necessary stuff. Stuff that I need to live to survive on my own. <laughs> you think I'm gonna show up to Vegas looking like this? 360. <laughs> no! I literally look lame. I look boring. I look not hot. <laughs> so that's why we're here with this video to fix all that. Let's get on to the video. So first we have to tweeze my eyebrows. <laughs> I know all of you just looked at my eyebrows right now and I'm so embarrassed. We have to fix my eyebrow slit. Hold on. <laughs> We're gonna whiten my teeth, cut my hair, fix my nails. I bought these little nails, these little glue on, these little glue on French tips. Shave my legs. Yeah, I forgot the most important one, shave my mustache. <laughs> Let me get one thing straight. I love a mustache okay. <laughs> not me getting hot and bothered mustaches are hot if you have a mustache you're automatically 10 times hotter than you already were before even if you weren't hot at all before if you have a mustache you're hot and i will date you <laughs> location change we've officially moved to the bathroom first item we're gonna whiten our teeth oh usually i use charcoal powder to whiten my teeth because it's just fun and spunky and it makes my teeth look all black and then i feel like i'm freaking like in parts of the caribbean or something and i'm just kind of like 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 <laughs> You know what I mean? But my Willa just bought me this whitening toothpaste. I'm actually gonna try it out live on camera. I'm gonna get my live reaction to this whitening toothpaste on camera. Oh, hold on. <laughs> hold on, it has a freaking thing in it. If you don't wet your toothbrush before brushing your teeth, you are the problem with um, society today. And then you have to wet it again after you put toothpaste on. So then it told me that I brush my teeth too hard. What the F are you talking about? I'm trying to get them clean. I'm turning on a stool, by the way. I'm not this short. <laughs> the counter is not. The dentist also told me that I have a receding gum line. <laughs> Not too short, I'm going to a different dentist. Okay, first step complete. I feel like it's me. Next thing's next, we're gonna tweeze my eyebrows and fix my eyebrow slit. Yeah. Okay, so here's my little kit. <laughs> so we need eyebrow scissors. Obviously. We need tweezers. These are my favorite ones. <laughs> One problem is I wore glasses and I don't have contacts, so I have to be really close to the mirror. I'm going to Vegas with people who've been to Vegas before. AKA my dad. <laughs> he loves Vegas. He's we're literally going for him. He knows what he's doing, so I can't look and, but he's not one to like teach me the ropes, right? Like I gotta figure it out myself. I'm trying to look good, like <laughs> don't throw it down. Let's stop the act. Let's cut the cameras, let's cut the What if I meet the love of my life in Vegas? Don't act like you weren't thinking it. There's a, there's wedding chapels in Vegas. We could literally go get married right there. You think I'm gonna show up to my wedding in Vegas looking like this? You're wildin'. Now you're the one that's really wildin'. No, no, no. And it's not even like, oh, I need to look pretty and I need to look hot so that way guys will notice me. <sighs> no, I need to look pretty and I need to look hot for my Vegas Whitechapel wedding. Like, my, my man is gonna like me no matter how I look. I wanna look good for my man. <laughs> I wanna look good for my man. That's another reason why this glow up is a must. In Vegas, nobody knows me. No, I'm just a mysterious little tourist. Let me paint you a picture. Me full glam, full glow up. Oh my gosh, it says I need to go to like New York, like in New York, but like, I thought it was in Vegas. Like this, like, this beautiful handsome man with a mustache. <laughs> has to have a mustache okay he's walking up to me and he's like excuse me he was like do you need help and i was like <laughs> starts crying right starts immediately like crying. I'm like don't worry like i'll take you there i'll take you there i was like oh like, thank you i've just had a really long flight i took a 10 hour road trip with my dad grandpa and sisters <laughs> i'm not jet lag okay this is this is the dream vegas man mustache <laughs> smart has goals um, is super super funny. Like he's really funny. He makes me laugh. Like he makes me <laughs> medium build. 
<laughs> okay. Not arrogant. I don't like people who are arrogant. Confident, hot, arrogant. I'm literally gonna throw up in your face. All right, I'm gonna tell you something on the DL. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something on the real DL. Like, keep it down. Keep it down. Low. I look he got me in it. <laughs> Isn't actually my man. Like, I, not at all. He's not my man at all, but I just call him my man because I want him to be my man or he wants to be my man. I don't know. I don't know. He's been lacking, bro. Like, if you want me, just say that. I'm a girl who needs action. <laughs> I don't like to sit around and see how things go. I want to know if you want to marry me or not. Because <laughs> I have goals. I have plans and I have milestones that I need to meet in my life. And I don't have time to be going through a freaking 20 year long talking stage. I still don't even know if this man likes me or not. You know why? Because he hasn't freaking told me. That's the easiest step. And I'm not going to say I like him first because I've done that in the past. And it worked, but like, I'm tired of that. Sue me if I want to be pursued. I'm, and I'm sorry if that sets women back like 20 years. He's not doing much chasing, hence the hot mustache man in Vegas. He doesn't step up. What happens in Vegas might just not stay in Vegas. This might be my future. <laughs> okay, I wrote the complete. We need to get rid of my mustache. Whereas I'm the number one advocate for mustaches on men, I don't want one on myself. There's a strong possibility that you guys didn't see any footage of me shaving um, my uh, uh, mustache, and that's probably because the footage looked bad and it was embarrassing. Next thing's next, we're gonna shave my legs. Um, I've been shaving my legs since what grade? I think I've been shaving my legs since like third or fourth grade, y'all. I'm not even playing. I don't usually care, but there are some particular outfits that I do prefer to have my legs shaved and that's fine. And if you don't, that's also fine. You know why I started shaving my mustache? Let me tell you, there was this boy. Yeah, of course it was a freaking man. I was in sixth grade. And so one day he was talking to me and I literally looks at me and he goes, I can see your mustache. Heck loud. And I was like, cut the cameras. Sixth grade me was like devastated. The guy that I did like hurt. And I was like, oh my gosh, now he thinks I'm a man. <laughs> so that night I went home and I told my mom, I was like, girl, we need to get this under control. Am I upset that I let a little boy have this power over me all the way now into my 20s? Yeah, a little bit I am, but at the same time, I never said he was lying. <laughs> the stash was thick. Like when I went home and I showed my mom, she was like, girl, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, no, nah, like he wasn't, he was not playing with that one. I'm not gonna lie, he kind of helped me out, but like the way he approached it was the disrespectful and I still think about that to this day. Now it's time for the main events to cut my hair. The ends are crunchy. What do you think was named first? The crown or the crown of your head? You think it was named the crown because that was what that part of your head was called and that's where the crown goes? Or do you think they named that the crown of your head after they made the crown because they're like, that's what a crown says. I would think that they named the head first because I feel like people were made before crowns were made. But at the same time, when people were first made, like. Was God even thinking about parts of the head? I don't know. Let's ask him. All right, I'm cutting off that much. Now, I do have hair cutting scissors, but I left them at my mom's house. And then I just cut it. You're supposed to cut it up like this. Don't look at my hair cutting face. Oh my gosh, that's so humiliating. It looks so cute. But the ends feel so much nicer. Easy, so haircut done. Now, next thing's next, I'm gonna go put on some fake nails, but I have to do it in my room because Cass is complaining that I'm hogging the bathroom. Girl, I'm an influencer, like literally get used to it. Okay guys, we're back in my room. We're joined by Alex. Alex is right there. Oh. Peace. Peace. I got this from Five Below. <laughs> so I don't know how long they're actually gonna last, but I don't care, like. All right, so, okay, thank you. Yeah, Minnie Mouse. Glue included. I do not want to get glue on my hands. Not even trying to toot my own horn, but like the other day, I was watching my channel and why am I Loki funny? <laughs> Born This Way remix. What do you know about Disney World? Oh, ow! Okay, I'll be ratatouille. Okay, guys, these are my nails. 
Alex is still talking about Disney World. And she just fell. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, guys. I literally finished. Here's the nails. Don't look too close. So, literally, that's it for my glove video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, And I love you guys. Bye, guys.